Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Mini, a true nerd, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost, here on top of the world, I'm famished from lack of food. Okay, good start, good start there. So basically, we've done it, we've found the plot, and the plot is telling us to go 10 bajillion miles in that direction. So that's just marvellous, and apparently I'm famished, that's good too. But first, thank you very much for the comments, because I have got something to check. See, as a few people mentioned to me, I got so excited looking for weapons and improved gear, I forgot to check how much of the gear that was on all these guys was pocketed. So I might actually be able to pick up a fair bit of extra carry capacity of pocketed gear. So I'm just going to very quickly go over that to see what we've got. You see, right here, I've got a pocketed boiled leather right arm weighing 5.2. But this chappy has got, yeah, a pocketed shadow combat armor right arm, better on the actual defense, lighter, and also containing shadowed. So that's just a lot flipping better in every viable way. And with that extra weight capacity, remember to grab every single bit of booze going, because while this place doesn't really have food or water, which is odd, because there's specifically a note saying, hey, there's so much food and water here, this is just magnificently good news. It does have plenty of booze, and now I've basically just decided I'm comfortable with my alcoholism, then that's just good for me, because that means I can just basically keep drinking, keep getting the rad slowly ticking down from that, everything will be marvellous. And one other thing maybe half worth considering, yeah, there's another lightweight combat armor left leg here. Slightly better than the one I've got, but about too heavier for four and four improvements. Uh, you know what? I'll leave that. I feel like I'm okay for armor. The problem's health, not armor right now. So I will, in fact, leave that. And I think that's your lot. So not a bad swing through there. In which case, so long Liberty Six, it wasn't particularly fun knowing you. Time to figure out what my next step is. So here's my destination way up north. In fact, I'm pretty confident it's pretty much precisely there. Because yeah, I remember, to get to that actual bunker, you go up this road here. And this road's like in the middle of a canyon. Then you turn left. In the base game, there's a couple of supiums floating around. So I know that area. That's fine. So I just need to basically follow this road up. And this road here... It's actually pretty quiet. There's not a huge amount of stuff on this, so might be a good idea. But if I head north from where I am here, uh, Kingsport Lighthouse is, I think that's Kingsport Lighthouse about there, going up towards Salem and all that sort of area in this direction. But there's that cannery, which is full of food. Probably irradiated bad food I don't want, but if I'm desperate enough to be famished, I might be willing to take the risk. So... First move today is probably just quickly run my way across the whole Libertalia area, back through Nahant, past the robots, and basically we just need to find a way past all the bloody cultists that were swarming in this area. And yeah, I think right here we've got the cannery. Stop off for some food, that's my first starting point here because I'm in a bit of trouble in that regard. So as I would have hoped for, Nahant so far, nice and quiet. Now, am I maybe being a bit optimistic? If I vaguely remember, there might be a cooking station on this otherwise useless top bit where I got the sniper rifle that saved my life. Because if I... No. Weapons work, bench and armor work station, not actually a cooking thing. That's a shame, because I'm carrying that rad rat meat. I can't remember how many raw rad rats it takes to actually create a, a rad rat steak or equivalent, but... Would be nice to have a little bit of food, especially when Famished is going on. Need to sort that out at some point too. I'm thinking maybe after I go north, assuming I make it there, I might want to make a bit of a, a longer swish back down south. Maybe involving going round to Sunshine Tidings. Just because that magazine, Double Meat, would be very bloody useful. Now remember, there's the robots. But if I just stay down here... Out of sight should be... Okay. Everything's fine. If they kill me, doesn't even matter. Everything's okay. Am I past them now? Okay, I'm far enough. Let's just go. Let's just flip and go. Don't want to get caught in the water down the... Uh-oh. 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 Mm, the brackets. Oh, the brackets. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Didn't get detected. 
by the Skiratron. Everything's fine. Ah, yes, I remember this. The end of this here bridge. Group survivors. Looks like... One of them's just got a stick. One of them may be more dangerous. Question is... How dangerous are they? Because survivors are sometimes a bit also. Have you guys just detected something you find interesting? By any flipping chance? Because if you have... You might be willing to just leave me alone. And you might also be the sort of survivors that are just live and let live. You can't be sure. Oh, undetected for... Okay, so you're not that sort of survivor then, are you? No, no you are not. Uh, but... I think you're all melee weapons. Yeah, I think you... Aside from the fact that one of you has... That was one of the bastard... Okay, well that's fine because I need to actually grind up some criticals actually. And you could be just the people for that, you stupid bastard. So, you can all just bloody die. He had one of those special irradiated ones, didn't he? Yeah, that was one of those irradiated Molotovs. So he's just giving me more rads, which is totally the thing I needed. But screw it. I've got them out of the way. And if they're there, then that means presumably the Themis cultists aren't around here. Because if they were... Also... <laughs> I think it's like my endurance just goes up and down. I'm just like gaining and losing health like crazy. Which is why my health's just going up and down like mad. Right, now I'm a bit nervous in this area. In the base game, I've seen... I think that's just the mute crab. Uh, who there's no point in killing. Because until I get the Sunshine Tidings book, that thing has got zero meat on it. So I may as well just basically work around it and that's fine. And there we are. That's the cannery right there. So actually... Not so bad. Burn a bit of ammo clearing out those bastards, but screw it. At least I know there's a nice easy... And I need to keep drinking booze, otherwise I'd literally run out of everything. Okay, here we are. Cannery. Boat there, but I don't see anything particularly of interest. Now. Problem is, base game, this is ghouls. Big basement full of ghouls. And just because the rad situation, that's like one of the things I absolutely cannot do. So, let's just play this. Well, speak of the cocking devil. Okay, lovely. This is this is all just good. Oh, I'm desperately lacking in throwables as well. Um, tell you what. Have a grenade, you bastards. Okay, that'll flip and do the job. You've lost your legs. Uh, yeah, actually, that was a really good use of a grenade. I'm now severely dehydrated. Oh dear. Right. You're both dead and no longer giving off rads. I'm going to start losing health and everything soon. Good. That was effectively three of them taken out with a single grenade. Okay. That's... Hello, Bryant Hill. Hang on. I've seen this note before, damn muties. Walk around up here, hear them shambling around. In fact, I literally have two of these notes. Marvellous. So I found Bryant Hill twice. Well, it's pretty much confirmed this is Ghoul Central, but I need the food. So, I'm going to poke my head inside and just see what we've got here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, fine. So, so basically, I've just been insta-killed before the screen actually faded from black by ghouls that were literally by the door. So, back here again. Fortunately, not too far from the Liberty Six, where there was a nice bed. And as you guys are just standing over there... How about we just put a nice bit of flamey stuff on top of you bastards. Because that's better than ammo. So screw the lot of you basically. There we go. You guys taking some nice damage. Yeah, how about a bit more? How about you just have a bit more? Because I'd rather sacrifice Molotovs than actually, you know, waste ammo on you bastards. There we go. That was a bit more efficient. And as I suspected, you did indeed have a toxic cocktail on you. Fine. So, let's stay away from the actual cannery, because it's one of those locations where Frost is basically at its worst, where it just said, you know what, this location could use more actual ghouls. Let's just put ghouls everywhere, because that's fun. So, we're going to completely ignore that location, though admittedly, yeah, thirst is a disaster. If I'm about to start heading inland... I hate the fact I have to do this, but I'm pretty sure we just have to drink from the sea. Which is a bad idea, and you shouldn't do it in real life or in this game. But, 
what options do I have right now? I mean, I guess what I should do, actually, is do Radex, which will get my first up, but screw it. I'm about to get my first down, so it's probably a good idea. So that pushes me over to severely dehydrated. However, now I just, yeah, now I'm taking three rads a go. And this is bad, but what else am I going to do? Fatigue. I just have to take it because I've got no other source of water. And just keep going. And okay. So now I've got no health again. Um, and I can't actually irradiated food, but there's no other place for me to go. So here we are. Here we bloody are. There's a mute crab. Please leave me alone because there's nothing I can do. Right, so now I need another rad away. Because what else am I going to do at this point? Because there's no other source of water. Uh, this is... Ah! This is a parking garage, isn't it? Yes. And what's just detecting me is the mute crab. This might just all go to hell. We might need to rethink this. In fact, we might need to rethink the whole lot of what we're doing right now. So, round here... In this direction, we're vaguely heading towards, uh, what is it? There's the hospital. Actually, there's a couple of hospitals. There's a couple of hospitals inland. And I'm hoping that's just the mute crab. If there's going to be one place I might be able to actually get myself. Bit of, ooh. Okay. We've got ourselves a barricade here. Let's just quickly have a little nose upstairs. So I've been found. There's a Themis cultist, but he can't be what's found me. Yeah. This road here. I'm pretty sure that would lead to... Uh, what is it? The, the, the Molden area? Is it Molden? Oh. Molden men. Molden area. Right. So. Ooh. Hello. No, that's just Cambridge Polymer Labs. That's base game. That's nothing new. Yeah, Molden feels like a terrible idea because of the Molden men. Still, I've got a Quantum. Quantum's not bad. Yes, hello. I know you exist. You need to hunt me down, you bastard. Uh, right. Let's go out the back way. Actually, just... There is no basement. Fine. Uh, but now I'm found in a bad way. Why am I now found in a bad way? Because the found just went... What? What's happening? Oh, Rad Roach. Well, that's not the worst thing in the world, to be honest. Finish that off with one bullet for safety. Take the uh, cockroach meat. Just one more of... one. More, there you go. One more of them. And we'll actually be able to... Ah, that's Jamaica Plain. Yeah, one more of them. I'll be able to make some new roach stuff. Problem is, yes, there's the iBot. That's fine. I know about you. That is... Ah, no, that's the auto-wreckers, isn't it? Yeah, that's the auto-wreckers area. Uh, that is... Okay. That is something already going wrong. There's an iBot. There's a Themis. Somebody's attacking someone already. This works for me. Who's attacking who? And if you're there, that means Finch Farm is very close by. So, I could just basically skirt around the outside of this. And then I need to decide whether I want to drop a save. Because if I drop a save at Finch Farm, everything that now stands just stands for good. And then, if I decide this is a stupid idea, and what I want to do instead... There's just a survivor. That's a... Cows! Cows are my salvation. Okay, no. 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 No, no, no. Whoever you are. There's... There's a river here. Hmm. Where's the nearest? I don't see any form of bridge either. Uh, looks like I could just cut up slightly to the north. But that is... That's really close to you, isn't it? Okay. Uh... Screw it. Go, 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 go. Stay out of the water, stay out of the water, stay out of the water, stay out of the water. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so now I've got even less no health. I mean, in all fairness, the difference between no health and really no health is barely existent. Oh my goodness, is this actually four cows? Is this actually four cows right now? Oh my goodness, I could kiss you. 
kiss you on both of your mouths. That's, uh, what, four cows? That's eight mouths total. Okay, we've got to get all of these cows down and out of the way. So, one, two, bear in mind, they might try and fight back if they do, don't let them. Okay, there's one dead. And one, and two, and three, and four. Okay, next up. Found still, but everything's okay. Two, and three, and stay at the side. I think they can only attack forwards. Right, there's three dead. And the fourth. Well, you know what? Really should have been paying more attention to what's going on in the world right now. Uh, two, and three, and four, and no, make you run for it. No. No, you don't. No, you bloody don't. Okay, you don't get away. Someone's searching for me. That's a concern. There's the farm right there. Okay. So that is enough for 12 ribeye steaks, which will keep me going for food for bloody ages. The problem is going to be weight, because I now need to clear out 12 weight to get all that with me, and I'm not leaving any of it behind. So with booze, I can get up to... Why only 115? I feel like that should be... Oh, I've probably dropped another strength because of bloody hunger. Okay, I've dropped enough just bits of random aids, mostly in the form of drugs and whatever. I should now be able to collect all 12 of the cow meat, which would be 24 if I were lucky enough to actually be, you know, in a position to have that little manual from Sunshine Tidings. Okay, I've also got... Okay, I've also got some bottles, but I can't afford to convert them into dirty water right now. What I should do, however, is... Somewhere, there we go. There's Finch Farm. Now, I'm going to work under the assumption that, like most farms, this is all fine. Maybe guns away, just for safety. Please have a cooking station. Alright, I'll be really... Uh-oh. Oh, cocking hell! Right. Okay. Unhappy farm. Unhappy farm. Good. Anyone with actual cocking guns? Because if you don't, then I'm just killing all of you. Right, so, Jake Finch. Jake Finch the Younger. You're all running over there, are you? Right, I think you're running to where I was. So have a nice... Yeah, there you go. Have a nice thing. Uh, why don't you just run over to me? Yeah, there you go. You can just die. And you can also just die. And you're... You're down on the ground, but not actually dead, because I think all your legs are broken. I don't care. I honestly don't care. You can all just stay there. You should have had guns. Okay? This is your own cocking fault. Uh, laughing gas mass marvellous. So screw the lot of you. Life is now calm and quiet. You better have a cooking station. That looks like a cooking station to me. Okay. So, life is actually good here. And it's quiet too. Right. Quick as you're cocking like. Rib eye steak times literally all of them. Okay. Now this can actually get my hunger back under control. Feel better. Oh, that's straight back up to peckish. And I've still got 10 in reserve. Okay, that there, that's a good damn starting point. In fact, screw it. I need to actually clear up the weight. Okay, properly fed. That's, okay, that's tired. Tired's not the worst thing in the world. I'm concerned by the possibility of a storm coming in. I've also got six bottles. I got six bottles, so I can also get two purified waters. This stabilizes me in terms of my day-to-day, -day, like, you know, stuff. So let's just quickly handle this. Now, I've killed those guys. If this is a storm, then what I can do is... Is this a proper storm? Is this a proper storm? I don't know. It looks... It might be... Sometimes it's really cooking hard to tell. Okay, just quickly, quickly, double purified water. Uh, and I'm, I am tired. Okay, that was... Was that a flash of rads? Okay, s screw it. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna sleep. I'm just gonna sleep because I'm scared. Uh, we'll sort this out in the morning because I am tired. So having a bit of sleep will be fine. I'm just gonna sleep overnight. I was suffering from fatigue. I've sorted out my hunger. My thirst is... Under control-ish. This will sort out tiredness. In the morning, we'll see what comes next. No, what's happened is I've instant died because of some flippery related to how HP is calculated. Marvellous.
Okay, back over in this part of the world again, and as far as I can tell, the best solution I'm going to have is pretty much just speed running as fast as I bloody can over towards the hub autos, skirt around the outside, kill the cows, kill the guys in there, use the dirty water and the bottles. Are you an actual cow? Okay, there's just a cow living in this house. Um, if I were to shoot it in the face, right, so there's basically, oh, the stairs. Right, that, that would be a lot easier. Fine, I'm severely de- What, what, what's happening? What's, I feel like I'm going mad right now. What's, what, the, what, what, and now there's, is, is, is this where the original, no, this is an invisible, I think this is actually what going mad feels like. Right, just just ignore all of that. Ignore all of the madness that I'm now suffering from. Skirt around the outside of these bastards. Hopefully they'll still have their own problems to take care of. I basically just need to... I know I'm severely dehydrated, okay? It's fine. Every moment I'm severely dehydrated, I'm taking quite bad damage. So I'm just going to need to use, yeah, one of my blood packs to get enough health back to offset the damage I'm taking from severe dehydration because I can't drink from the unpurified water source because if I do, then I'll die when I save for no well-explained reason. Also, I just got ill in terms of le- Why have I just- Why? I haven't eaten anything. This game's- I hate this game so much. And lethargy's a terrible one as well. Action point refresh down is no fun. Right, go, 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 go. Right, okay. Round over here. Uh, kill the cows. Like, um, all of them or just, just some? Uh, I don't have time for the inventory management. Just basically go for the cows. Um, three will do. Three will be fine. Just, just take all that. Now move straight the cock on. Um, also, hang on. Do I have the, the space for this? Yeah, I've got just about enough. What was that? Was that an explosion? I feel like there was just an explosion over there. Right, one and two and come on and just a third. That'll do. Right, okay. So, I've got a grenade set. I need to clear these guys out really cocking fast. Okay, because I'm taking damage over time from dying of... They're already up there. They already know I'm coming. Um, okay, plan. Use that same grenade I used last time. That that worked fine. Uh, so just around here. Finch farm. Uh, come on. Where, where are they? Where are the bastards? Why are they not finding me? Come on. Come on, you gits. Come on, you utter, utter gits. I saw you around here. Yeah, there you are. Okay. Um, Go. One grenade there. Okay, that's one of them on fire. Uh, screw it. You know what? Just You can all just die. Okay, you can all just cocking die. I'm severely dehydrated. I know there's a third. Yeah, good luck with this, by the way. Uh, down you go. Right, that's all of them dead. Okay, cooking station. Bloody quick. Uh, purified water. Yes, now the roasts. No, the roasts. Okay, the ribeye steak has got me down to properly fed, which is good. But I'm not sure the purified water's actually helped. Nope, still severely dehydrated. Marvellous. And obviously that water pump is completely screwed. Okay, well that's whiskey's worn off. Keep downing the booze. It'll keep the rads ticking down. Which might be very, very important because in a moment I might just need to drink from the sea because apparently drinking two full bottles of purified water is not good enough to even, like, you know, slightly alleviate dehydration. I have literally drunk two full bottles of purified water. And I'm severely dehydrated. Because everything is the worst. But, there is, no, not those, more bottles, more cocking bottles, I remember there being bottles here, that's good, also there's just a, a mongrel, and, ooh, plasma grenade, I have one of them, thank you, uh, right, there's three more, oh, that's, that's even more bottles, okay, these bottles, also bandages, okay, this, this might be enough to save my life here, uh, because at this point, if I now just basically go down here, and, okay, I have a real kind of Catullan Odiet ammo relationship with this here mod, which is, there's a lot I like here. Like, this is it kind of, and it's simultaneously at its best and its worst. Because sure, it's frustrating and maddening sometimes, but 
You're like, I'm literally just surviving. Like, every tiny thing I happen to stumble across just saves my life for another couple of seconds. Okay, now keep going. That's another two purified water off all the bottles I found here, which is great. Okay, that's got me down to mildly dehydrated. It's not- Oh, that's more bottles. Okay, this turns out to be flipping bottle central, which is just absolutely beautiful. And is that more... No, that's tin cans, which sadly can't be converted into water, because screw it, whatever. Uh, okay. We've already... Oh, there's more. Right, there's more, there's more. And I'm already carrying one, so that's another two purified water. Okay. <laughs> I just want you to know how bloody close I just was a second ago to saying, screw it, the run's over, I'm doing something else, I hate this. But now, actually, ooh, advanced pipe bomb. Okay, all of a sudden I'm feeling, okay, actually, I've just managed to survive for the time being at least and just keep filling bottles like my dream here is basically, can I get out of having the red angry water symbol in the bottom right? Like, that would just be beautiful. And the answer is yes! I go down to thirsty! <laughs> so I've still got the warning on screen, but like, now it's a fairly modest warning. And we've got, that's cigarettes, that's just some paint cans. Anyone else, by any chance, happen to have- Oh my goodness! Everything is good! This just ran away. I love Finch Farm. Next time I play Fallout 4, like, I'm getting Finch Watts' face's sum back. Alright, no questions asked. And I won't even want a reward. Alright, I'll do it for free. So, advanced pipe bomb. That's good. Uh, I don't think I need any of the stuff off any of you. And now, okay. I think that's... Does that light suggest a storm coming in? Possibly, yes. Now, as I would have suspected, I get hungry and tired from the Radaway. But that doesn't matter, because I've got the ribeye steak to sort that out. So, I've got three of them right now. The thing is, I don't dare go to sleep at this exact moment in time, because some items that work over time don't work while you're sleeping. And also, this is... I'm going to assume that this is not pure water, but I can't actually... If this is now pure water, I'm going to be very irritated. Um, but I can't actually know that. Um, uh, give it a go. You can't use that at this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that it? Wait. Did I just take the rads from drinking for that one? I wasn't allowed to use it, so I didn't get the water, but I did take the rads, because screw me, basically. Okay. I think there's a storm coming in, and the rad away has nearly done its work. Like, that's got to be about 300. I mean, it's nice to have a health bar again. That's just bloody convenient. And just look around really carefully, because I've just found two more bottles I didn't know about before. Including... Make that four more bottles. Yeah, my low perception might be slightly working against me here. Uh, definitely things are getting a bit on the dark side. Right. Fill up the bottles. I'm going to guess that... Okay, that was odd. The animation just couldn't be bothered. Can... Okay, there's no animation on this occasion, but at least it's here. At least it's cocking here, and just, just keep filling it up. There we go, lovely. And that actually gets me to flipping properly hydrated. Oh my goodness, life is good. I've got, I've got action points. I've got a health bar. What the hell is all of this madness? Now just sleep through to morning, and kind of hope I don't just weirdly insta-die. Okay, I'm parched from lack of water, but I'm well cocking rested. Oh my goodness. Oh my flipping goodness! And... Okay. Just, this farm just belongs to me at this point, I guess. Uh, you're a survivor, two antiseptics. Ah! Federation. Okay, Metro Federation, I they're not really in the Metro right now. And, uh, hang on, yeah, I already took an advanced bomb of some description off you. But wait, just for a second, savor how much health I've got, because that just feels bloody lovely. So, damage about 300-odd. Gotcha, okay. And just a random plasma grenade of one of the corpses too, so at least I've got a few throwables at this point. So, with a save in hand, priority number one. 
we've actually, for once, got ourselves in an okay situation. So, good news, cows! You're also being culled. You're all being culled, basically. Uh, so, you can just all go down and do not attack me, bastards. Uh, so, cow meat times three. How am I... How am I over capacity at this point? Oh, it's because I'm not drunk. That does make a lot of sense. Yes. Right, well... A bit of vodka to make the cow slaughtering go a bit easier. And just finish you off. You're not going anywhere. And take that meat. Right. So all of that converted into ribeye steak before we actually set off again. Because now, I've got enough food for cocking days. Okay, the problem is... Lethargy. I mean, action points coming back a bit slow. I might need to take a rank or two of action boy to, to offset that to be honest, but we're just going to have to eat it. And I'll take some of that potted meat. I've actually managed to get more potted meat out of here than I got out of the bloody potted meat factory, which is just embarrassing for the factory, quite frankly. Right, so, we got ourselves right here a good starting point. Where the heck are we going next, then? So from here, we got ourselves two choices, pretty much. Uh, we basically either go above or below... The actual water. Up this way we've got Parson State around this area. Which I'm going to guess is probably... You know what? I'm just going to guess everything's ghouls. Everything in this mode is ghouls. This road, I've said before, is pretty quiet. So if I basically were to just make a run straight up here... That would be workable. That'd be workable right there. Yeah, pretty much if I just say this is the spot I'm aiming for right here. If I just walk straight at that, joining up to the nearest road. Worst thing that can happen, I can die. Though actually, as I've got a save right flipping here, I may as well get acclimatised to the local area. Because this area around here, Malden, well obviously it's going to be Malden Men Central. But, two hospitals. If I could just get inside one, scavenge a few supplies, maybe some antibiotics, and first aid kits have a decent chance of spawning purified water too, would not be the worst thing in the world. But, <laughs> right, we're back on. The series is not cancelled, <laughs> which I was very close to doing after the bloody just dying in a cocky bed because the game freaked out with HB calculation. <laughs> oh, okay, first thing I've just run into on that road over there, a Lieutenant Gutsy. So this is this is a good start. This this is just a good start here. So military blockade on the road. So watch out for the road. Yeah, this road is often nasty. I remember that. Um, just just avoid that. I'm not actually here to cause trouble with you at all. Uh, so now he's searching for me. I'm I'm not interested. I'm not interested. Bye. I'm not buying anything today. I just want to be on my way. Uh, yeah, searching fine. Just spin around the outside of him. <laughs> I mean, fairly careless at this point, because I'm just kind of curious what Malden's like. So if I just head a bit north from here, we should be... That is... Hang on, that's... That can't be the edge of the slog, can it? No, it just looks like a, a fairly uninteresting little car park. Ignore that. Focus on that, because there's a road here. This road should lead me straight into Malden, and the nearest building when you enter Malden on the right should be the hospital, the one that's pretty well locked off uh, until it's... It's one of the companion quests, isn't it? I think it's McCready's. Uh, so if we just basically head along here, distress signal fan... I don't care, all right? You know what? I've got enough distress on my bloody own to deal with. Also, when I said that the covered-up area was Malden, I'm well within the covered-up area. Aha, there it is. Right, it's, it's not quite what I was expecting. So, that's one of the big old buildings. Let's just go into sneaky mode here. Figure out what it is I'm actually... Also, what's attacking me? Attack dog and survivor. Don't care. Ignore. Because uh, this here is... I think actually the rear of one of these buildings. Uh, yeah, this is totally the rear of one of the buildings. Ah, I think I've accidentally kind of cut through Malden. And now I've ended up towards... Yeah, the beginnings. This is actually, I think, the one in the base game that's got the... Unless I've just completely got this town backwards in my head... Which is entirely... Oh, it's ghouls. Oh, of course it's ghouls. Why would it be anything other than ghouls? Why Why would I ever assume anything other than ghouls? This isn't going to be allowed to stand, by the way. So basically, screw you. And then... Okay, so he, he's dead. I want to say he's dead. Is he actually dead? Yeah, he's dead. Screw... Basically, just... 
ghouls are the worst in this game. Ghouls are just literally the worst thing imaginable. So, I just basically sc screw you. Okay, so don't come here. Because ghouls. Because don't come anywhere with ghouls. Okay, new destination. Starting from Finch Farm, of course. Now we just head north and join up with the road north of where the bloody gutsy was. Okay, so we give the ironworks a bit of a wide berth, because I'm pretty sure I saw a ghoul over there. So watch out for him. Instead, just head around here. Watch out for... Yeah, there's a military convoy. That will be the big thing over there. Join up with the road at this point. Now, we can have a little loop down at the ironworks while we're passing by. Something's alive around here, but it ain't too close. Fine. So, I kind of joined the road a bit early there, but that works pretty much fine. So, that's not a problem. The ironworks is right over here. That's the, the fencing at the edge. Random dog. Couple of dogs, in fact. Uh, heading in my direction, irritatingly. Uh, so, one of them's badly wounded. Uh, screw it. We'll just basically take a 70% chance to hit you. And we'll take the same on you. Have to just basically spend a bullet clearing you guys out because more dogs because they would you believe they travel in packs that is kind of traditional yes uh and 70 boom tiny bit of damage but with my armor shouldn't be anything too bad you're apparently a more dangerous dog okay well that's absolutely fine i'm quite happy to just basically let you come in for a bit uh because this is just me slowly grinding up a critical in fact actually probably the best thing to do is that's ugh, three hits versus two I'll take this. It's fine. Boom. And you're a glowing dog. Got lucky there. That should be that taken care of. Oh, you flipping had rads in your teeth. <laughs> I like his dancing head. Right. Take all of the meat. Let's take all of the meat there. Don't worry about the fact that he's glowing. It doesn't matter. Uh, okay. And then we got down here something. Ferrigal. Oh, wow. Can you believe that his head's still going? Is it ever going to stop? Is it just going to keep rolling backwards and forwards? Have we discovered the secret of perpetual motion? Possibly we have. Because <laughs> that head just accelerated. That's... Okay. The secret was with dogs' heads. Oh, no, we haven't. Boo. That's a shame. Right. So, couple of dogs. Nothing major. Again, if this all goes wrong, I'll just basically chalk this up to intelligence. Everything will be fine. But at this point, we're almost at the corner. So, yeah, then we just basically move the marker over to here. And everything's calm for now. Stay away from the ghouls over there. It's very uncreative, this game, at times. Sometimes this mob basically just says, Hmm, how shall I create challenge? How about 10,000 ghouls? I've only done that several hundred times before. Running a bit low on bandages, by the way, but I did just pick up a couple in that house. So, not quite as bad as it might... Bet that was a ghoul over there. I think that's the slog up ahead, isn't it? Pretty sure that's the slog uh, up ahead there. Yeah, the other nice thing about this area that I'm on right now, this road, is it's covered in... Why would my health drop from vodka wearing off? Vodka gives me... Oh, max hit points up 25. Okay, fair enough then. That's acceptable. Just basically keep downing the booze because that just keeps my rads ticking down over time. It's fine. Right. Just have a little peek over here from those umbrellas and the fencing. And yeah, that's totally the outside of the slog. And anything else? Yeah. Would you believe it's just ghouls? So screw you. It's ghouls. So uh, what's in the eye work? It's ghouls. What's in the slog? It's ghouls. I wonder what's going to be ahead of us. Is it going to be ghouls? Oh my goodness, it was ghouls. And now we've got ahead of us. Ah, Mr. Gutsy. Right. We're going to have to find a way to work around him. Going to have to find a way to work around him. Can't go down towards the slog because ghouls. North, however, might be okay. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I'd say that is enough for now. We have made... Well, we made several kind of false starts to our journey north, but, well, we've managed to recover, I'd say pretty nicely. We've actually managed to shift a fair number of rads, which is marvellous. We've managed to deal with food and water, for the time, at least. I'm alcoholic, but I'm just, you know, comfortable with that fact. I don't, you know, consider that a major problem. And now, the journey must continue. Next week, we will head along this long road. We've got to work our way past robots and anything else that the game decides to throw at me. 
There's Molden down there. This area is fairly quiet. And then we've got to break our way in to the bunker. I've got the password, except... Uh, can't help but notice, I believe the note specifically said, oh yeah, we're going to take the person that we've like arrested to interrogate him in a vertebird. There's a possibility there's going to be a vertebird here. The game might basically say, okay, to progress now, you need to kill a vertebird. If they do that, I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> also, another possible little kind of introductory boss fight that I go for is someone in power armor. Uh, and again, if they bring out the power armor... I'm not sure what we do. Possibly we try and use explosives to strip off the pieces. That might work. We'd have to flipping see. But this bit of the world's pretty quiet. I can't think of a logical place for a bed around there. So <laughs> we'll have to see about that, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have to see. That's coming up next week. But in the meantime, I've been John. There's been many a true nerd. This has been Fallout 4 Frost. Thank you very much and goodbye. You know, I really hope we've agreed open borders with Japan, by the way. Otherwise, they have basically just invaded. I may have picked the wrong fight over. Yep. And my sisters, of course, have got even more flipping high tech. They're mysteriously still completely dependent on, you know, an aqueduct. Now, I'm not saying your entire army is mostly already dead, but it kind of actually is.